Did you ever see that film, Night of the Living Dead? Just asking because I finally got around to watching um, both versions um, at the start of the year. Still good movies. Pretty good. I enjoyed it. Also, yeah, there's going to be zombies in this part, so... Hmm. You know, um, there was um, there was a spill in Irithyll Dungeon. They uh, poured some of uh, Aldrich's goop on the bodies. Caused them to jump around a little. Well, you know. They were meant to be disposed of in the water reserve in, Irith in uh, Anna Rolanda. <laughs> but then there was a mix-up. And they got sent right here to Cathedral of the Deep. Do you want to see them? The bodies. <laughs> okay, dumb bit I've been thinking about for months. Taken care of. So we're going... That was weird. A little more lightweight this time around. Now we're on the lift. I've been busy. Upgraded some stuff. Got Vista plus four. Plus five. It's going to be a lot easier after today's recording session to get some um, plus sixes for Irafil proper. But yeah, um, also this. Awkward shield with the text that repeats itself because they never fucking fixed it. In fact, yeah, they patched, they, they fucked up, patched this in and never fixed it. Um, yeah, basically, if, if you can't read it, basically, you know, Abyss Watchers don't use shields. Hawkwood had a shield. They determined he's a bitch's consequence. Alright, now the annoying part, we can't backstab him. Cause the whip. Come on, buddy. Ow. Poise boy, huh? Well, hey, how about that? Come on, what you got? What you got? Well, that was my bad. I got cocky there. <laughs> hey, Dark Gauntlets. It's not like I already have those. So, you know, we've acquired a bailet. Um, we can invade others. Um, sacrifice your friends, you know. Um, for more time on the clock. <laughs> Or rather, to become Femto, I guess. Alright, we're heading back. I've been meaning to do this for fucking forever, so it's good I had an excuse to do this. Because it ties into, you know, Cathedral. So we're back. And we're going to have a chat to Edge Lord Leonhard. Hey, mate, what have you got to say? Aha, uh -huh, you found a proper red eye. Brilliant. I knew you were no ordinary man. Now invade and pillage all you like. And if you grow weary of your duty, you too may become a finger. Come on, give yourself to Rosaria of the Cathedral of the Deep. <laughs> now invade and pillage all you like. And if you grow with come on. Mm-hmm. Well, how uh, how coincidental, because that's where we're going today. Almost as if I realized that last night and went, yeah, we can do this now, finally. Um Back again, I see. Oh. I know the dialogue changed um because of uh we got the Slumbering Dragon Crest and all that, but I think buying more spells might have changed stuff up too, so let's just double check. I don't mean to seem overbear anything in the fire. Okay, no. I don't mean anything in the fire. Yeah, no, okay. Just promise to stay safe. That's what changes when you give him enough scrolls. Cornix says nothing for us. I bought the other stuff. Um, Carfer's Beacon and Acid Surge. Um, basically saying, you know, what honor is there in defeat? Because, you know, um, I imagine the Carfer's Swordsmen were big proponents of the Salty Run Back. All right. Just one thinking of it. So, you know, stuff like Bursting Fireball, Cast Light, which is near useless in this game. Was, wait, was this in, t yeah, Cast Light was in 2, right? For some reason I feel like it's not, but no, I know it is. I fucking used it. Yeah, no, 100%. Um, yeah, basically, there's great value to victory. But, you know, honor and defeat and scoured bones... There's none. Of course not. 
Uncontrollable fire. A signal of war. Alright, well, that shit's done. Ha ha ha, we cleared you already, eat shit. So yeah, we can't cross the bridge because we need to go beat a boss. Um, not a very tough boss. Aesthetically pretty fucking cool though, let's be honest. Um, also, this will give me a good ch uh, chance to talk about this. Yeah, so a week ago I was at a mate's place for his birthday and we were, um, I was having a chat to him and another friend about how replaying most, well, replaying up to the choice in Sekiro and then going past really makes me hope Sekiro is kind of like, not quite a tech demo, but a bit of an idea where they might be going with Elden Ring. Because Sekiro fixes so many fucking problems Dark Souls 2 in particular had. The whole thing of, well, you know, mini bosses get fog walls too. They're not proper boss fights, you can back out, you can run away, they just regen health. Would have made shit like Mag Magus and Congregation and um, Covetous Jabba the Hutt, you know, all that stuff. A little more palatable, I guess. And also, um, kind of how there's all the cool prosthetic attacks and all that as follow-ups. Because the prosthetics feel like, hopefully, where I think spell casting might be going in the future. Having inputs after casting a spell seems like an awesome way to build off that, instead of pew pew farin dart. Um, no plunging attack, because of course we can't. Okay, let's apply this to you fuckers. Nothing down that way. Ah, screw this. I'm getting the torch out for you. Yeah, so we're showing our true pyromancer colors today. Got the attire on and everything. Okay, here we go. This guy fucked me up royally back in the past. Ah, uh, come on. I have charged this way too early. Roll back. Wrong arm one. Okay. Need about six of those. Okay, yep, yep. Missed that entirely. That was bad. I that was a poor angle. Great ones are cool. I fucking hated them my first time because of their weird pocket poise on their twin curved swords that you don't get. Um, but yeah, a lot more manageable nowadays. I just kind of fucked that up. A recurring theme in this playthrough, no doubt. Can you go up? Yeah, just go away. Fuck you. I'm not even going to bother killing them. Oh, yep, there's the assist. There's our striker. Okay, so we got a bunch of shit to look at in a sec. Your one arrow damaged. And in a second, the giant will probably stop shooting. That should maybe be the last arrow. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, so we've picked up all the white birch branches in the game. Um, so Giant Chan has probably keeled over. We can see him when we get more up there, so we're gonna, we're gonna look at some items. But yeah, um, Cathedral. My favorite place to invade in this whole game. Really fucking open, a lot of cool shortcuts if you know what you're doing, especially with Silver Cat Ring or Spook. A lot of cool shit you can pull. Um, Grand Archives, I guess, is the only place that kind of compares in terms of verticality and such. And just the wealth of options you have to just move around the level. Speaking of, of the Grand Archives, one thing I really wish was there were, if there were more places to actually jump down and run around. Like, if I just had, like, a continuous, um just continuous sets of rooftops that you could drop down from all the way to the top back to the ground floor. I think that would have been really cool as an invader in particular, but even then, especially as a mound maker when sometimes I'm going to help the host, that'd be awesome to troll reds with. Okay. No, okay. Technically this counts as well, so there we go. Giant will definitely be dead now. Oh fuck, I'm going to, yeah, I got hit. Just accept you're gonna get hit. I'm used to a way faster cast animation. Um, mm, well done me. Normally I can do, if I really try, I can do Cathedral in one shot, and we might do that. 
Last time I tried that on PC though, I got invaded, and I had no Estus, and the guy was a fucking tryhard with Dragon Slayer Axe, wearing Millwood armor, um, gold pirate resin. What did I mention this? I mentioned this in either Zelda, um, which playthrough was it? Maybe Zelda, um, what did I do after? Yeah, it was something around that time period. Anyway. Might just go back to the bonfire anyway, because fuck it. Alright, come on, buddy. Wake up. Time for your weapon. I imagine this isn't going to exactly break his poise. We're going to swap to the bare fist um, if we get a repose, so I want to see if I can get him to quit hardcore. I'm probably not going to get him to, though. I need him to be in a nice, awkward position for that. Okay, yeah. No, not going to be it, but you can get some... Yep. Oh, yeah, here we go. Okay, not as bad. There's been a bunch of times I haven't got stuck in there, but I've gone right through and you can see under the map. Kind of a shame you can't really run back around here, but whatever. Get boxed in really fucking easily. Alright, and here's the thing down back. Ah, it's a ring. Probably should have got some Ashen Estus, actually. Ah, uh, well... When I have two attunement slots and I can actually equip a heal, that'll that'll make things a little better, I guess. Alright. So that's phase one. All completed. Oh, yeah, there we go. Phase one. Act one of Cathedral of the Deep cleared. Just have a little you know, the little sonic jingle play or whatever. And this will be a Titanite shard, as will that there. So fuck it, I guess we'll heal. Time for message. Ah oh, damn it. Jumped way too fucking late. Outstanding. Outstanding. This is fine. This gives us another chance to just kill all these guys. And a good amount of souls already, huh? We go to head back and... Almost get a level. Damn. Ah, oh well. Range. Just pointing that out. If you don't have the slumbering dragon press ring on, you control that guy to get him to, you know, kill himself. But, actually. Hey, buddy. Excuse me one sec. They're not particularly clever. So, a new dagger. Cool. I've already got this fire dagger for them reposts. Is that being a tryhard to a degree? Yeah, probably. Okay, yeah, well, we're out of range. These guys have some weird fucking awareness thing. Awareness uh, ring, I guess you'd call it. Not line of sight, but... It's kind of peculiar how sometimes you'll be in here and he'll start climbing up to get you. Obviously, they can't ascend. Thankfully. This ladder's also really fun as an invader. Um, I think it's... Sorry, I'm taking a second. I think it's about here-ish. If you have Silver Cat, you'll survive. Really good for hosts that get way too cocky and think they can survive from the from the peak. Nothing here, sadly. You can chameleon up, but that's a fucking death sentence, so probably don't. Yeah, think about hole. Um, kind of weird the pursuer's great shield is just kind of here. Don't get the titan shard. Yeah, I did. Cool. We'll be able to see the giant from up there. I'm pretty sure. Silver. Uh, sorry. Um, slumbering, so he won't notice us. Perfect. Alright. Damn it. Don't know what. Please don't. Okay, yeah, he's still there. When we go up to the tower, he'll be dead and have the hawk ring for us. What a guy. Thank you, man. Oversight. Very much so. Missed this on my first couple of characters, but came back for it. Pretty sure I told the story of when I first played this game in another playthrough, but, um, you know, got most of the, yeah, I got up to here as a pyro, was having some prob some trouble, because I wasn't used to the whole needing to level up stats for pyromancy type deal, because I was so used to DS1, because, you know, I hadn't played 2 at that point. Um, so my build was fucking weird. Um, Hand axe was my main deal, of course. I think I had a sword as well. Um, 
had a lot of trouble to pyro because my strat my stats were way too uh, evenly spread, I guess. Came back as a knight with some pyro, no problems. Can you just calm down? Dick, come on. Fuck you. Maybe I should have gone fireball after all. I was thinking I've got enough firebombs, but for wankers like that. Alright, here we go. That guy's probably going to shoot us in a sec, but if we time this... Bingo. I was saying, like, Cathedral was going to be speedrun mode, but this is probably just going to show you how methodical it is I can be for this section. Except for the part where we're looping back for this... ass clown. Alright, Leech Man's down there. Uh, sometimes if bodies... well, actually, what am I saying? If bodies manage to drop down there, you won't see their items most of the time. They'll be kind of invisible, but you will get the prompt. A uh, whole rendering type thing, I guess. Whip is especially good for this shit. No ambush now, fuckers. Okay. Firebomb you. We can free aim that, no prob. R2. This is why I love the whip so much. Huge fucking range. Okay. And of course, I didn't need to say it, but Cornix is garb. Because it looks sick. And bugger all collision, thankfully. I showed it off in Bloodborne, but... It's very abusable here if you know what you're doing. Okay, this guy's gonna go for a poke. Yep. Unlike our friends back in DS1. I know that's not like a true dead angle, but it's really easy to get behind enemies block. So, technically dead, ang dead angling, I guess. And yeah, fire bombs for these guys. Trickism. Perfect. I'm just really, you know, I'm patting myself on the back a bit hard here, but I'm pretty damn good with the timing, I think. Roll. Our Lloyd's Talismans. Um, a little more bullshit than Al's, that's for damn sure. Spoiler, you fight Alan Sekiro, who the fuck would have known that? Um, yep, there we go. Also, shit like this, where you angle the camera, you can hit up. Come on, be the hat. Fuck yeah, we got the whole set now. Perfect. You know what I mean? Perfect. Alright, cool. We got a wealth of options now. For fashion, at least. Alright, here we go. So there's an ambush with two thralls on the roof, right? And you got this dickhead and one comes out. So let's just do this. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna fuck this jump up for once, I swear. Nope. Oop, roll just in case. Perfect. So if he dropped an item, for example, he didn't. Um, but we're probably not going to see that body. Should we get down there in one bonfire? Oh, without resetting it, the bonfire. And... Oop. I mean, the timing's so easy because you just hold until you don't need to. But it's just because of how fucking wide it is. It's rad. Okay. As for you, come down. And he's one of these. Yeah, this one's always delayed. It's kind of odd. Oh, I took damage. You... How dare you? I took a bit of two damage. Uh, you take a bit of full damage um, if you drop from there, so you can do this. If you fuck up, you're definitely taking damage, but who cares? R2, these... R2, these guys. You can normally get both when you're not being incompetent. I'm um, pretty sure we can wall hack this guy. Yeah. I remember that being a big thing they showed off for um, fucking Call of Duty Black Ops 2. A wall hacker, you can see enemies through walls with this gun attachment and it was, like many things in COD, cri <laughs> cripplingly disappointing. Um, what I'm trying to say is, it sucked and wasn't very good I think. But then again, it's not like I was a competitive COD player. This guy's weird. He doesn't typically drop down, so what ends up happening is shit like this. If you well, that's annoying. We'll probably get one back. If you firebomb him earlier, what will generally happen is he um doesn't fall, but he starts walking midair. Yeah, I don't know. There's a couple of enemies that do it in Cathedral in particular. All right, come on, mini boss, let's go before your buddy shows up. Yep, yep. So that's that poise I was talking about. All right, walk into it. Perfect. Yes, cool. This is half a reason I want to do Cathedral. I want to be able to farm the Grave Warden set. Just got to be careful you don't... 
mass R2 too many times trying to get impact um, to do its full combo. Oh, wow, we're getting incredibly lucky. Fuck yeah, I guess I am lucky, Ted. Yeah, shut up. Idiots. Whips. Beautiful, am I right? Alright, so of course, there's a friend round the corner, and there's this guy here. That hollow hanging off the edge, you might not be able to see him. Um, very adept at just being a huge pain in the ass in general. Alright. He hasn't seen us, but he's about to. Oh yeah, you're trying to hit us through walls, huh? How's that working out for you, buddy? Not very well? Cool. Okay, if we throw a firebomb at him... Here we go. Yeah, we got it. Shut up. <laughs> I don't know what it is about en enemies in this game, but they do a lot of that random ass shit. I, I, like, I mentioned the Corvian Knights in Ariandel, which, spoiler, is probably where I'm going next. Uh, just so I can farm some more large Titanite, get some cool armor, some cool magic I'll probably never touch. Um, but yeah, enemies in this game have that weird shit that really makes you realize... Yeah, no, it kind of was an illusion all this time. Enemies aren't playing by your rules at all. They were just very good at fudging it in Dark Souls 1. And, by extension, most of 2. Uh, mostly like the basic enemies. The second you get to uh, the bigger knights, it becomes kind of apparent. I mean, dragon riders are as dumb as reds, am I right? Ha ha ha. Um, well, that one dragon rider. Uh, you probably can, but I've never got that dragon rider in, um... Shrine of Amana, yeah, Shrine of Amana, the walk off the bridge. Yeah, that'd be cool. I've spoken about it before, but um, myself and a mate are thinking about streaming Dark Souls 2 on his um, his channel. I'm probably not going to edit it and throw it up on this because, well, I'm recording this. And I've got Astral Chain later this year. Um, so that'd be a bit too much for me. Plus, I don't feel like editing out 30 deaths to Fume Knight. Yeah, DS2 is long, in case you haven't played it. DS2 is like fucking Zelda length long. That's for damn sure. It's a fucking monolith, <laughs> monolith of a game. I don't know why I went for that, but it sounds pretty metal. Um, there are some weird instances with this blob that I murdered very unceremoniously. Sometimes, if you knock him down... You'll walk midair and you'll hit the roof just here. Um, then you can't progress further. There's other times where, you know, it's because you're in range, but you'll be here and you'll teleport into his drop attack. I don't know. Again, weird bugs I can't get to. Um, some bugs are pretty consistent. Some, not so much. Like that one time I um, broke the pots in Irifil and I got trapped in some invisible circle. That was fucking bizarre that time. I'm not sure, Black Hat, you tell me. Uh, what am I saying? You know, um... You know, I, I mean, I've been shitting on it, but, you know, Tharis turned into a Gru, Dusk turned into a tree, uh, Quilana became a spider anyway, Solaire's the worm, and we're the third Black Hand. I totally forgot. That's totally heavens. <laughs> okay, no, okay, I'm done. Ah, oh, fucking crackpot lore theories, I don't know. Man, I'm gonna be honest. You kinda stop caring about the lore on your, um, actual 120... Uh, 150th playthrough. A uh, giant's probably gonna hit us once and it's gonna hurt. Sword ring. Hey buddy, exploding bolts. Only exploding bolts you can have until you get to the archives. He's probably gonna clip us right here. No! Okay, we're fast enough. Oh damn, I was hoping he'd get you. Jerk. Yeah, what of it now? Yeah? Yeah, go back to sleep. You trying to clip us through walls? That's my job. Excuse me a second. Yeah, bas basically any part of the shockwave will fuck you up. If I had fireball, this would be perfect, but I think maybe if we get the right angle. Ah, oh, damn it. Now we're not going to be able to. We can hit him pretty hard. Probably, yep, we got him. Perfect. This one we can get. No problem. Yep, got him. You know, only problem is if he drops an item midair. Got you. No, didn't. Sweet. 
There's a Cathedral Knight in there, and Evilac as well. I'm not even going to bother. You have to walk right under it to trigger it. I don't know what's up with that. Some have a really sensitive range, others not so much. I will change out my armor soon. I think what... Ugh, my armor. My armor. Um, probably when we get back to the bonfire. Yeah, we'll fight Kirk like this. This will be fun. Kirk's armor I'm looking forward to getting because of how fucking rad it looks. Oh, oh, I should have... I feel like I should have got hit there. I pour, I timed that incredibly poorly on both rolls. One, two. Okay, okay, phew. The stagger saved me. I felt like I was going to get whacked by that. Okay, wow. I'm getting exceedingly lucky with armor drops, um, with items in general. Speaking of armor, that's the maiden set, which is kind of crap. Doesn't look amazing, and it's not very good at all. Um, but yeah, no, I'm I'm having a real fucking lucky day. Just hoping, you know, shot. Uh, what am I saying? Shotcut. The Elgato doesn't lag out and kill the session, or the mic actually fucks up. Ah, da da, that'd ruin us. All right, let's go through a few rolls and see what we get. Yeah, so I mimic couldn't the second. Well, the third actually. What am I saying? So, we'll give it, like, another two or so. I've got plenty of talismans. The best spot to do this is, um... Profane Capital, right near your arm. Because there's two of them. Okay, he's made his choice, obviously. We're gonna start hitting him. Alright, one more. Then we'll give him a little tap. Then we'll kill him for real. They'll give us four chances all up. There is treasure. I mean, I know what he's doing. So, I probably shouldn't have liked it, but fuck it. Damn it, Mimic, Mimic Kun, you fucking betrayed me the last time. Right. Downwards. Forwards, not backwards. Sideways, not um, upwards. I don't fucking remember what the whole thing is, but I know we twirl towards freedom. All right. Yeah. Let's go. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Immediately buffs. He has no patience for this shit. Um, not that you can get repost with this, but yeah, the whip does good stamina damage, way more than you'd expect. Also, you know, we're just kind of chipping his shield very easily. Textbook. Come on. He's gyrating very sensually. Anyway. Oh wait, hold on. I might have triggered him. I might have fucked this up. So you get this. You run back. You stop here. And you start to charge. Evil act like dead. Works every time, as long as you, uh, run to it. No, really, it works every fucking time. It's beautiful. It's the fucking best. Alright, now, yep. We've passed the trigger, so our friend is spawning. Be really embarrassing if he killed me, but I'm not exactly the most well-armored right now. Um, Cathedral Knight is back there. We could have some fun with a seed of a giant tree, but no. Alright, come on, Kirk. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Yeah? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Now, the value of playing unlocked with a whip. That's adorable. Yeah? Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Interesting. Now, aggressive R1 roll. Uh, we're out of stamina. Yeah, you need a lot more stamina than you think with whips. Because you want to keep the pressure on, even though you're generally playing defensively. For, uh, for someone like him, though, you can be very aggressive and force him to run into you over and over. Because invaders are dumb. AI invaders, at least. Hodrick's the fucking smartest one. Which is kind of a shame. Alright, the frawls. Let's see if we can get this. Damn it. Come on. I'm fucking this up. 
Oh no, this, this is the worst case situation. Uh huh. Not that part though. All right, he's coming around. Okay. Uh oh, I think his mate saw me. Uh huh. Char Char two does um two handed R two does a lot of stamina damage. This does too, but. Oh, that was by accident. That looks really fucking rad. All right, he's coming at us. Roll. Nope. Okay. Yeah. No. Uh, fair enough. Be aggressive. Be aggressive. B e a g g r e s s i v e. Uh, you know. So on and so forth. Um, so it is written, etc. Poison statue. Poison statue. Dead thrall. Um, there's a giant round there. We'll take care of him later. There are some weird... F Actually, yeah. Cathedral's the gift that keeps giving in terms of bugs. It's right there. I think it happened there. Yeah, if you run fast enough, you'll just... You know, the textures won't load back in. Um, this guy. When I'm on... When I've been on this raised bit just here from Patch's little booby trap. That fucker's... Hasn't hit me. But he's caused me to clip through this and fall through world. Yeah, I don't know. Again, I... I don't know what's up with Cathedral. I really don't know. It's so fucking bizarre. And not in a, you know, a, you know, bizarre adventure type way. Yep, um, I forget. Is it this? No, wrong approach. Yeah, I can't be bothered. Okay, we can see the bodies. Cool. Not Axe Guy, though. It's you two. Okay, that's weird. Oh, yeah, yeah. Axe Guy's on the other side. No, no, that's where. Is that where? I, uh, I'm getting myself confused now. I'm clipping through myself, beautiful. Yeah, so, um, Gale would be here, but I got rid of him, so every time we came through here... <sighs> I shouldn't be liking you wankers, but <laughs> that's a bit rough. Terribly lewd messages. Oh! Hi, we're being invaded. For real. Hell yeah! Alright, I'm game. Fuck it. This is my home turf. I get a field power bonus and everything. Alright, that said, we're gonna hurry along. Because I want to be up here for him. I don't want to be getting through the mucky muck. Uh, with Nasty Man. How, how did it go again? That old Tenacious D song. Just accept you're gonna get hit. Beautiful. Alright. We're going to run through here, get up, open the doors. Alright. Cool. That's the plan, at least. Huh. Where are you, buddy? This is fucking weird. Huh. Kind of expected to see them by now. Oh, pro tip, if, if you're an invader, don't run into here if this hasn't been activated. It's a fucking death sentence. I, uh... You know, I speak from experience in that regard. That was a fucking awful idea to do. Man, I should have sat at the bonfire. I really should have. Oh well. Alright, let's make it nice and easy for him to find us, I guess. So, um, our friend Sigurd ended up in a well. Because reasons. Someone who we have never met before in a Souls playthrough has his armor. Wonder who it could be. Hmm. Well, you look reasonably sane. I am a knight of Katarina. I've managed to track down this cathedral store of treasure. It's right over there, across that narrow part. Treasure. Hmm. Always so close, yet so far. I'm in quite a pickle, <laughs> indeed. Hmm. Hmm. Well, you just hold your horse. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Trish attempting. I'm only doing this because invaders can walk across this without triggering it. Plus, he might have the uh, obscuring ring and run up on me. Alright, well, let's heal just in case. Giant's gonna be a colossal dick in a sec. Um, that said, walking on this will alert them to where I am, but that's fine. Huh. Oh, yes, 
then it's easy. That's exactly what I wanted. Hey, buddy. Whoa. Hey, dude. Whoa, settle down. I just wanted to say hi. I was really impressed with that shot. That's what I love to do, too. Man, this guy's awesome. Oh, I don't think he knows you can't parry whips, which is bizarre given the setup. You're a cool guy. Except for the part where you, uh, well, actually, no, you sniped me. That's why I'm impressed. Yeah. So we've got a bit of latency. Yep. Don't worry. I'm not going to heal. It's okay, man. You've given me that much. I won't heal anyway. It's all good. Yep, that's fine. I got my heal in. This is going to be a semi duel. Yeah, so the problem I'm having is, right now, I'm a bit low on stamina. Um, so keeping up the pressure is awkward. So he's going to try to go for roll backstabs a ton. But we can punish him most of the time. Thank God this... Uh, maybe this... Uh, yeah, I don't want to say anything too dicey. This guy's probably pretty good. I just don't want to be a dick and say anything, like, rude. But if this guy knew how to do, like, the whole roll backstab shit, I'd be in a lot more trouble. Um, what is it? The burrito step or whatever. Oh, he's got the crow talons though. Awesome. You're a cool guy. Cool build. Cool cool stuff. Dragon Slayer Axe uh, had me a little ant eh, at the start, but you've... Yep, okay, he's learned. We're going to have to swap this up a little, I think. That said, he can par Wait, no, he can't parry us. Of course not. He's not giving us a lot of breathing space. Yep. He can parry us, so back to the whip. And back to the wall. Yep, that was a little preemptive. Man, this is this is alright. I'm probably fucking this up big time, but... Yep, out of range. The one problem with staying below 30% um, with the whips is sometimes you uh, won't be able to hit them reliably with the rolling R1. But staying on low weight is very useful. And I'm in the swamp. Beautiful. Yep, yep. I was trying to predict him. My bad. Sometimes you don't need to predict. Yep. We have that wide sweep, so let's abuse it. Oh, he has phantom range, though. He has a lot of phantom range. Yep. Okay, I think he's going to try to go for the backstab. Could be wrong. You're good, dude. You're really good. I like this. Give me a fun fight. I haven't been invaded in this before. Um this LP. And I wasn't invaded blood in Bloodborne. I was invaded once off camera in Demon Souls and once on camera in Demon Souls. Yeah, no, he's, uh, he's knows my game plan now. Well played, dude. Now I'm gonna be a dick and heal. I wanted to not, but fuck this. You're actually, you're good. You're good, man. You're good. Ooh, Dance of Swords! I want to gesture and, like, be cool, but... Ooh! Rotten! Nice! The fucking Groove Spear! This is awesome! Okay, can we gesture in time? You're awesome, man. I like this. I hope he doesn't take this the wrong way. I know sometimes you can seem like a real dick when, um... Yeah, okay, yeah. You seem like a real dick, uh, dick when you gesture back to invaders. Okay, he's playing reactively now, so i got to be careful here. Yep, but if we unlock with those R1s. Okay. Yep. Nope, no, that's 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 the right idea. You can poison me through my roll, so go for it. Ah, oh, that, okay. I got lucky there. No, you don't. See, whips aren't the best, but they're really fun against people that don't quite understand everything they can do. I'm, I'm sure this guy does. Rolling out two. Roll catch. You're really cool, man. I had fun. Thank you. Dude shot me off the bridge. What a fucking legend. Oh, that was rad. Dude, thank you. I, I kind of figured this episode was going to be really boring, so wow, thank you for spicing that up, my man. Good shit. I'm um, Drank Twin Hammers. Will I get them soon? 
Alright, I'm gonna kill the giant after the fact. Kinda wanna head back home after that. Um, we'll trigger patches. Go kill that giant down that away. I shouldn't push my luck though. Might get invaded a second time. Okay, yeah. As you can see, I'm angling it a lot so I get a lot more, um... A lot more range by treating the uh, right side as my vertical, I guess is what you'd call it. More my forward attack. Yeah, you fucking stay back there, alright, man? Oh, he's doing it. Come on. Come on. Let's play a game of chicken. Yeah? Bitch. My thanks, comrade. Ah, oh, I love this yes just so much. That guy was really good. I, I enjoyed that. I'm repeating myself, but man, the adrenaline's finally starting to wear off. You probably noticed when I got invaded, my, my voice picked up in a, oh, a little high pitched, and I was talking faster. <laughs> I noticed that happens. The anxiety sets in. Ooh. Nani? Ah, oh, fuck off. I just killed an invader. Ah <laughs> oh, man, it's been a long time since I did PvP. That's the attack that fucking clipped me through the world. Um, Dark is awesome on these guys, so if I had, if I had the Dark Hand, I could fuck him up pretty well, but whip it is. Alright. And that's why you have the soapstone out at all times, so you know when you're being invaded and don't get put into this kind of situation. Uh, that said, we're on the, uh, we're on this, so, yeah. When you're too close to it, soapstone will blank out. Ah, oh, man. Thank you. Thank you, my invader friend. I should probably do some invasions at some point, off camera, but, um, I mean... They were kind enough to give me two vertebra shackles the other day, the uh, calf of skeletons. Just yesterday. Yeah, two vertebra shackles, but it took me fucking like an hour to get the calf of greatsword. And there we go. Yeah. I know that was a kind of an unceremonious kill on the giant, but you know, what, what was he actually going to do to me? Alright, so Barber Rafters, we've done all Cathedral. Yeah. Oh, well, other than that giant. Ah, fuck it. We can go the, mi the extra mile. I don't need the blue bar anyway. Okay, yeah. But I will make a point of um, getting some blue juice for later on when I go a little more caster. So we have that. Roll this way for some other goodies. We've got a lot of shit to have a quick look at. Um, none, none of it particularly interesting, to be honest. But, eh. Yeah, normally I fucking um, homeward bone out of this part once I get the two items here, but... Eh, back across the swamp. I should just use the dagger, but fuck it. Yeah, I just need to be able to farm some more large shards so I can get more of my weapons to plus six. That would have made that invasion a little more fun for me. It's a gorgeous view. We'll have a look at that in a second. Well, actually, right now, there's our giant friend. I believe that, yeah, that's him with the bow. Kind of Z fighting of a distance. Um, undead settlement with its weird, partially untextured trees. Us clipping through the ground, kind of. Yep. That's because of the uneven uh, stonework. Uh, yep, that's where we landed. That's the bridge with the uh, lizards and the demon. Down there's, um... Actually, yeah, right there's Crystal Sage, I believe. It's right around there. Um, that's the entrance area. Um, Farron Keep, obviously. And where is it? Yeah. The Keep proper over there, which leads to... Irithil and all that. So, yeah. It is crazy with, um... With, you know, how I can make a comment of... Man, this game's so linear... 
but at the same time, you've got to explain the context you mean it in. Because in terms of level design, now this is this is the most open one with um if you include Sekiro, um yeah, that's a little different, obviously. I, I wouldn't include it because, you know, you have a lot more vertical traversal options with the grappling hook. Um but just the sheer breadth of options you've actually got um, in terms of getting around the place. It's really cool. Um, like, if, you know, Farron Keep, there's an intended path. But there are a few ways you can tackle the swamp. The cathedral, you're kind of on a path, but you can make different drops to speed up your route a little bit. Uh, like, if you have, sp you can survive anyway, but if you have spook, it's really easy to drop next to the giant. Um, the first one, and just skip a whole ton. And even then, thankfully, we had enough dex and <laughs> dex, vigor, and vitality to survive. A, yeah, to survive the drop. That's really fucking fortunate. We had just enough health. I don't know if that guy was expecting us to survive or not. Oh, while well, I'm here, this corner is fucky as hell. You want to go around very carefully. Stuff like this roof here, though. If we could drop down onto it and run around, like, not the whole roof, if we could drop down there and, like, get down into the graveyard proper, that'd be cool. I, I honestly don't know why they'd never put a ladder just down there to connect up. Because then you could run at the front door, run up here, climb up the bell tower, and go through here again. Speaking of which, this is one of my favourite spots to invade from. Get a lot of cool options. 